Our Region's Business is sponsored by PNC for the achiever in you. Our Region's Business. Innovation. Transformation. Momentum. Improving our communities and driving technologies that will shape our region for generations. The collaboration that brings vitality, prosperity, and life to living. Stay with us for the coming half hour as we examine in depth our region's business. Now, here's your host, Bill Flanagan. Today on our region's business, two local companies team up to take on a recycling challenge and they get an award for it. Plus, IKEA's bid to set a global standard for sustainability. But first, educating the power engineers of the future. University of Pittsburgh recently cut the ribbon on a new electric power systems lab, part of the Swanson School of Engineering. The uh, lab will seek to meet the growing demand for power engineers here in our region and across the country. Greg Reed's back with us. He's director and associate professor of the Electric Power Initiative for the Center for Energy in the Swanson School. And Dave Bucklew is a senior vice president of North American Sales for the electrical sector, America's region of Eaton. And welcome. Good to have you both here. Thanks, Thank Bill. Yeah, we've here. actually had this sort of Eaton Pit partnership on the show several times yes, over the years because it's really, uh, really exciting and, and what, I guess a whole new chapter with a new lab. That's right. Yeah, the new lab is very exciting. So this is the latest in the development of our partnership and in our electric power program at the University of Pittsburgh in the Swanson School. Very exciting to have this facility. It's going to help us continue to, to augment the classroom activities that we have with our students, give them some hands-on experience with advanced technologies and power systems, and, and also give us an opportunity to do advanced research in power systems for our faculty and graduate students. Really cool. I think we have a little bit of video to show people what this looks like, and it looks pretty darn state-of-the-art, I think. Yeah, yeah. We have some custom-designed benches that we worked on with, with Eaton over the last year or so to put in the lab that have all kinds of capabilities for controls and configuring loads and creating different power systems environments that the students can learn and, and, and test things on and then of course it has a, a huge amount of, of capability that Eaton built in with motor control centers and, and other capabilities and it's all connected to solar panels on the roof of Benedum Hall that we installed last year through donation by our school's benefactor John Swanson. We're going to have a gas fire generator up there so we're really able to create a microgrid environment for our students to learn and do research on in this facility. Pretty cool. I want to come back to you and talk to you briefly about microgrid, but yeah. first, you mentioned the Eaton connection here. And Dave, this is modeled on a facility that the corporation has, what, up in the North Hills, up in Warrendale? That's correct, Bill. We have a power systems experience center up in Warrendale that's been in place for several years. Um, we have a gentleman, uh, Dan Carnavali, who has worked with Greg, and we've used that in support of our own customers and development and research, but also in support of some work with the university and co-op students and in, in an extension of their facilities. So we, uh, and Dan has now worked with Greg over the last uh, few years mm -hmm. in this uh, creation of their own uh, power quality lab. So, so up this, until this point, the students would have to go up to Warrendale. They could get some time in your facility, right. but they'd have to go up there to be able to use it? That's correct. Right. And that will still, um, I'm sure, continue to some degree, but this will give Pitt their own facility that uh, can do some of the things that we do up in Warrendale, a great deal of it, but we'll continue to work with them. This is all part of a uh, greater partnership and collaboration that's really coming up on a five-year anniversary. Hmm. Um, with uh, with the university and Eaton Corporation. This really gives the, the, the students a chance to get beyond the theory and sort of get their hands dirty. Is exactly. that part of what it's about? It, it's a lot of what it's about, you know, and, and it's it's not just getting their hands dirty with, uh, you know. I mean, actually, they don't get their hands dirty anymore, they don't, but that's a figure not, of speech. Not with electricity especially, <laughs> yeah, you know, and yeah. in fact, that's one of the things that's built <laughs> into this. There's, there's a lot around safety, so they're going to learn about safety around electrical equipment and operations. But it, it, it will give, th give them that opportunity to have hands-on training, but at the same time, they'll be able to really uh, take what they've learned in the classroom and put it into application into the lab. And, and, and one of the, the ways that we describe this, and, and Dave mentioned Dan Carnavalli, one of the things that, that he likes to talk about is seeing is believing, and of course, we're, we're big proponents of, of that as well. So seeing how these things work is very, very important for our students, and being able to, to bring bring that into the classroom, uh, you know, allow them to really uh, understand these concepts because electric power engineering is not an easy field, you know, to, to learn and to understand. And when you can put the, the application of the hardware 
to the theory and, and, and what you're learning, it, it really makes a big difference. It's going to give our students even more of an advantage than what they have now in terms of, yeah, of their I, education. I've always heard this as much art as science and engineering yeah. to electric, electric power engineering. I would imagine having students coming out of pit that have been exposed to this kind of machinery is going to be great for companies like Eaton and other employers in the industry. Without a question. Um, you know, the industry has been faced with an aging workforce. so. When uh, Pitt first approached us, we've had a great relationship with Pitt over the years and you know, have, have recruited at Pitt extensively, but when they approached us with this opportunity about developing a power and energy and uh, curriculum you know, and, and having eaten a system and doing it, we knew that it would not only provide us with a good flow of potential you know, uh, employees, but also the industry in general, because all of our customers have this same challenge that they've got an aging you know, engineering, electrical engineering, power engineering workforce. So uh, this is an outstanding opportunity for the university, uh, but I think also a good pipeline of talent for the industry as, as well. Uh, really cool, and you did mention the term, and I promised we'd come back to talk about microgrid, yeah. and what the heck that is, and why it's so significant that you're playing around with it there and that students are being exposed to. Only about a minute and a half left. Sure, well, microgrids are an emerging area of, of power systems that, that are really starting to develop at, at facility and building levels as well as into community level where you really have more self-sufficiency in terms of your energy supply and its delivery and operation. So you're starting to see more and more people put solar panel on the rooftop or they're starting to, to look at concepts where you have more energy resources you know, locally supplied where you use it. And, and there's a lot of development around how we're doing that with, with DC systems, with AC systems, and how all of that comes together and, and how the grid plays a role you know, what it looks like today, what that might evolve to in the future in terms of interconnectivity between these really self-sustaining systems is a good way to describe a microgrid. Hmm. And so they'll learn about all the technologies that go into that, all the interfaces of things like power electronics that do this AC to DC conversion, and, and a lot of the other technologies and control capabilities around it. Wow, Dave, it sounds like there's a whole revolution happening out there in the way we manage and use and, uh, electricity and use it more efficiently. Yeah, no question. There's a lot of you know, economic and political drivers now around energy management. So it's a great time really to be in this industry and I think this will be a real recruiting advantage for Pitt in terms of getting uh, you know, higher caliber and more people interested and the university and engineering and, and electrical engineering in particular. Really exciting, great to see this partnership happening here in our region as well as all the new technology. Dave Bucklew from, uh, from Eaton and Greg Reed from the University of Pittsburgh. Thank you both so much, appreciate it. Thanks, Thank you, Bill. Bill. Next up, sustainability with a decidedly Swedish accent right here in our region. Stay with us.